Hello everyone and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Uh, we are looking at something a little bit new this time around. We're not in the usual kind of hillside and mountainside area of the other map. And that's uh, kind of a two-prong reason. We kind of hit the limit on the last map. And so basically I'm starting a flat world to kind of assist us with the latency and lag and FPS. As that is a major concern for us going forward. So this flat world will hopefully run a little bit better and uh, allow us to just purely build vehicles until they add some sort of saving system to uh, blueprints. If that's even in the works. I don't, I don't even know if that's in the works. Um, this episode, what we're going to be doing is I've been playing a little bit of American Trucking Simulator because America and then also because it's relaxing. It is uh, something that I do to relax after work. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is hopefully building a, um, I guess a semi. So we're, we're going to be working on the cab this episode. And it's going to be a little bit of a process to get that done. So... I'm sure we'll manage just fine. Okay. Let's see. I think I need to bring this down one, actually. There we go. I've kind of skipped the initial blocking out phase as I want to try and kind of accomplish something on screen for you guys. Sorry if I'm talking a little slowly, but I have to try and think occasionally on the layout of this thing. Let's see. If we do that, that might give us something to work with. I don't know really what just yet. I need to test out a whole bunch of block combinations and things to try and get this front end to look right. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge to do so, but I think we're up for it. That's not what I want. What I want is... I think I need to bring in this a little bit. And of course, nothing wants to fit there quite right. Okay. All right. That ain't too bad for uh, the front radiator and the initial forming of the front kind of bumper which we can actually bring out fully now so what I do is I generally block things in of course with just normal blocks and then at a certain point we just switch gears and end up adding the, the detail blocks as the main support structures and slowly carving away at the other blocks. So this is kind of the front end of the truck that I am driving now. It is a modded truck. Look at the name of it. Not really one to know a whole bunch about trucking. But let's see if we can't maybe get some headlights on here. That ain't too bad. Okay, now we need to worry about the side plates. And the problem is this connection here. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to temporarily move how that's connected so I can worry about getting the side plates installed on this engine block here. All right. 
And for the side, oh, what do we want to use? Staircase blocks seems to fit okay. And they are black, which does look pretty cool when you think about it. There we go. It does continue a little bit with that kind of feel of the build. So reinforce that so nothing falls off. It's a little bit of a challenge building like this because you're cutting away pieces and you never know if you accidentally cut off major support structures. Okay. And then what I want to do is I'm, I want the engine to be accessible. That's probably something fairly important to me. And so what we're going to do is put some bearings here on each side. And make some sort of hood for it. And I don't quite know what block I want to use for that. I could use wires, yes. you know, on each side initially, and then build off from there, because really, you only need so much of it exposed to actually get at what we're trying to do. Okay, and maybe we can just do that and seal off the top area. That might look pretty cool as I rotate things around. That ain't too bad. I need to add the fender or the the wheel well for our front wheels here. So I'd really like if they were tucked in maybe a little bit more, but I think this is fairly accurate to what I am actually driving. Now I believe, it looks like I can. The spring, I think, is a, it's a, it's a non-collidable block. And in doing so, you can actually build things through it. Now the problem is when the spring compresses, uh, what I built through it will actually catch on the lower area. So it may not be a great idea to do that. Let's see. What do I want to use here? This is always the challenge. You know, let's let's see if we can't fit something like a license plate on there. Not really the right size. The problem with these ones, ooh, that ain't bad. Construction zone. Mm, no. I wish they kind of had a more rectangular one. That looked a little bit more like a license plate. That's not too bad. We can work with that. That's not bad at all, actually. Okay, so fender. Let's try and... You know, we may have to do some free sculpting a little bit using these angle blocks just to get the measurements right initially and then do that kind of over the wheel itself and then we can bring it back down oh not right okay Yeah, that ain't that ain't too bad at all. Now the problem is this is going to affect the turning. Yeah. So the wheel is actually catching here. And that's not something I want. 
Though trucks do not turn on a dime, it's still not ideal for us. So we're, we're gonna have to fiddle with it as much as possible. And I'm using the off-road springs because it's, it gets us a little bit more height than the normal suspension. So let's cut that off. Get rid of all of these pieces. And maybe we can start by doing that. That might be a better start. Because I might allow the wheels to turn. Let's test that out. This is this is the testing phase for sure. Now as it turns, it, it does catch. And it does uh, lift up the springs a little bit, but that's not too bad. All right. Let's maybe mix some color in here. So there's something. Something different with it. Yeah, that that's okay. Again, block variation is super important. We want to try and keep it pleasing for the people watching and uh, everything like that. Now, this is actually going to curve outwards because we need the outer step. Getting started. Uh, maybe the turning radius will get improved once we mess with it more. Kind of struggling. Well, let's do that and then bring it out. That, that that's probably better for the wheels to turn. Yeah, I think it helped. And then if we grab our welder, we can actually test some of this. Now, it's going to be a six-wheeler, right? So I have an engine for each wheel, which is pretty cool to think about. We need a control piece here, which I can put in the middle, almost like a speedometer of some kind. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, not bad. And if we wire up these hinges to this controller, what we can do is then set the controller to a button. Preferably, that right there is fine for now. We can always move the button around later. And so we need number one to rotate towards the red when activated. About 60 degrees. And then this one to the blue is 60 degrees, I believe. Yep. And we toggle this. The engine opens up and we can actually look inside and adjust the throttle. Which by the way, we need to tie to the seat so it doesn't just drive off on us. All right. Obviously, not enough power, I don't think. You know, it also helps if your wheels are facing the same direction. I do like the engine noise in this game. It sounds pretty good. You can also get out the engines on the underside if you have a workshop to actually enable you to do so. 
Turn these up to max. Max power. This thing is going to be very heavy once we're done with it, too, so. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's just too much power. We're just not moving because we're dragging the back end of it. You'll see the, the height of it will probably rest about there, which is pretty good. And what I can do is try and get this flush as well. So the wheel well is actually working and functioning, fully connected to the side of the engine here. And I can even double it up on that side. I really kind of wish there was a mirrored mode for building, but right now we don't have anything like it. Okay. Drop that down. Nothing's overly freaking out, which is good. I may have to mess with the wheels and see if I can't get anything to maybe match the rest of it a little bit better, but maybe it's nice to have that little bit of a color break in the long run. Okay, so now we can worry about the side skirt. Put those on each side. I'm trying to just leave the trim orange on this build. Because I do use the orange blocks for everything. As they're kind of the most versatile. So I need probably a block as a spacer. Followed by our step. Just like that. And just so they're not seeing the underside too much, you can kind of fill in the gap. All right, not bad. And then I think I want one final step here. Which we won't fill the backside in. Doing this will hopefully give it a little bit of a tiered effect. You know, that might be too low. Because when the wheels compress, Everything will get shifted, so maybe we don't need this step after all. Yeah, I don't think we did. That's good. Okay. Well, tell you what. <laughs> this is already a 20-minute episode, which is a little crazy to think about how long you can spend just working out little details like this. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the chassis and maybe some of the cab and we'll probably call the episode there. Okay, so I have the rough measurements in and basically what you do if you want to build kind of large areas at once, you need to find the key areas in terms of large details. And so what I've done is I found where the muffler goes uh, and the smokestack and everything added our fuel 
put in our back tires, the bed here that is mostly frame support. Uh, I'll figure out how to make a latching system at some point, I'm sure. We have a back guard, which is on my truck. I don't know what it's for. I added some type of industrial units behind the seats, as I generally enjoy to do. Um, also, I'm probably going to add that extra step on this thing. But in the meantime, I think this is as far as we're going to get this episode. I do probably, next episode, we'll probably finish up this whole thing and maybe start working on the mechanism for the trailer. Not 100% sure, though. Uh, I do need ideas for what this thing should be hauling trailer-wise. So, you know, whether it's a flatbed and hauls another vehicle around, or maybe uh, just a box truck like normal, or who knows? Who knows what this thing can haul? It has six engines. It's going to be pretty powerful. Um, right now, they're only on half, and it is fairly stable. And, yeah, I'm excited for this. This is going to be a cool little build. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the episode, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness. Go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment down below on what you guys think, what you want me to build next. And I'll see you all next time.